in the name of Allah, the merciful, we're still in domain A, and our next element is A.4, infection prevention and control program. The total number of elements is three, and activity for auditing are document, interview, and observation, and the score will be zero, one, two. A 4.1, there is a program to reduce the risk of healthcare associated infection, HIAS, that involve patients, staff, trainee, volunteers, family, and visitor, and is evaluated by document and interview. Review the following documents, program introduction, goals, mission, and vision of the IBC program, the organizational structure of IBC program, IBC committee, scoop of service. Additional program component service, supportive service department, IBC risk assessment and development of annual infection control plan, performance improvement project. Interview number one, ICB team about the IBC program how it is formulated and implemented in various hospital area. Number two, ask about the mechanism of hospital-wide implementation of various program component. Number three, ask about monitoring, evaluation, and feedback process to all stakeholder. Number four, ask how the patient, the staff, trainee, volunteer, families, and visitors are involved in the care process to reduce risk of HIAS. A4.2 The program is applied to all areas of the hospital according to the scope of service and is evaluated by document, observe, and interview. Review the following documents. Number one, IBC policy and procedure for each individual program department in an electronic system, manual, or any written and printed document. Number two, check if the hospital has specific relevant IBC program implemented according to the scope of the service type of unit department. Observe if the healthcare workers are participating and providing service in alignment with the IBC standards and measures related to their scope and mandate of their department. Interview number one, check the knowledge by asking staff in different hospital area to assess if they are oriented and aware about various IBC program and their rules in hospital associated infection reduction. Number two, randomly ask any clinical staff to enumerate various IBC program and sub program. Number three, ask staff about the role of hand hygiene in reducing burden of hospital acquired infection. A.4.3, the IBC program is based on current scientific knowledge, reference, practice, guidelines, and applicable national law and regulations, and is evaluated by document and interview. Review the following documents. Number one, all relevant reference must be kept in the IBC office and used as evidence for updating, answering, and facing any scientific debates. Number two, references would be include EBIC, CDC, WHO, IHI, FDA, OSHA, GCC, MOH. Interview number one. IBC team on how they develop their policy in comparison to the reference scientific facts and current regulations. Number two, they should give an example on how they use these scientific references. Thank you for listening.